back lot. This is where we shoot some of the biggest productions. Right to your left is the Metro set. We'll get to that in just a moment. But this area immediately to your left, this open area here, is where we would keep our craft food services. If we were shooting a big production right there in London Square, which is on the other side of that huge wall, if we were shooting a production there, we would have our craft services here. And our craft services are the uh, necessary things that actors need, including food and makeup and things like that. Things that keep them alive and things that keep them pretty. All the things we need to make a movie. Now this thing to your left right here is what we call a trompe It looks like an enormous wall. But as we turn the corner here, you're going to see that on one side of it, it is support beams. But on the other side of it, it is this intricately painted uh, scene of a few buildings. Now it may not look realistic because you're right next to it, but trompe is a French word that means fools the eye, and that's exactly what this does. If we set a camera up, double feet back, and make it fools the eye into thinking that these are real buildings. And to add to the, excuse me, to add to the illusion, we actually have doors that can open so the actors can walk in and out. And there's actually smokestacks at the stop that we can put uh, smoke machines in to make it look like the uh, chimneys are working. This, folks, is of course London Square. This is where we can shoot some of our biggest London scenes. And uh, if you take a look right through there, you catch a glimpse of what we call New York Street, and that's where we shoot all of our biggest New York scenes. It's where we shoot anything, obviously, that needs to look like New York City. And who better to introduce New York City than New York native Jimmy Fallon? Take it away, Jimmy. Take it away, Jimmy. <coughs> hey, everyone. Welcome to New York. I got my start right here in New York on Saturday Night Live. This is actually my old neighborhood. I once got mugged over there by an old woman. Tough lady. This is my favorite hot dog guy. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Remember me? No. <laughs> Just like old times. Gotta love New York City. Hey! I'm walking here! I'm walking here! Hey, it's cool, guys. I was just, you know, I was just walking there. So it's not exactly New York, but a lot of times when you see New York in the movies, it was shot right here on the Universal Metro sets. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Even if you make it here on the Universal lot. And that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, this is where we shoot all of our New York scenes, but it doesn't necessarily have to be just New York. If we want it to look like any city, we can transform it into any city we want. For example, we made it look like Chicago when we shot Blues Brothers. These videos just don't want to work with me. There we go. When the Pinto fell, and you saw it land and make this big hole in the street, that was on the back lot. We dropped it from a crane. You dig like that in Chicago, you... you, you. <laughs> Good idea. When people ask me, of all of the movies I've ever done, what is the most satisfying and the most fun, I've got to say Blues Brothers. We got to sing, we got to dance, got to drive and train with the best stunt people in the world, and, and got to be an actor and a writer. So it was a good piece of work. Danny called John America's guest.